Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So my setup looks different. I wanted to try something different. I wanted my clear white background back just because, I don't know, I like the lightness of it. And I actually made these little candle jars. These are jars my mom was going to get rid of. And I'm like, um, I can do something with that. Super cute. So I made these little lantern, not lanterns, but like little tea light jars. And I put some burlap around it and put some cute little charms. And I don't know, this is so cute. I love it. For when I move to my land, I can have those there for like light. Oh, I love it. So today I'm going to do an easy and simple craft session. I'm going to do some ephemera stamps. So let's get started. I just want to have like a sit down craft with me. Um, so yeah, and I wanted to do something simple. So I'm going to get started. So yeah, I wanted to chat because I know my videos are probably so different from last year. If you're still watching my channel, like I used to do, like my channel grew a lot because I did a lot of mini journals in my three ring binder but i obviously don't do that a lot anymore i still do i do my mini journal spreads in my three ring binder but i do them mostly in like my um handmade journals handmade mini journals so if you're still watching the ones that came from those videos um you, I go back and forth a lot on my channel, like, like probably a week ago or a few days ago, I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna do, because I've been making a lot of junk journal ephemera, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to change my channel now to junk a junk journal channel, since that's what I'm doing a lot now, so I'm gonna have to niche down towards that, and then a few weeks before that, I was like, okay, I'm gonna be doing mini journal crafts or or journals journal spreads and then before that it was something different i'm just gonna trim these down it was something totally different um so i go back and forth a lot and i'm like that even in my personal life people say that i go through extremes that's what they say you go through extremes i go through i jump from one thing to the other like all the time like, even when I was little, I used to do that, like, constantly. I would, when I was little, I went to, I was in ballet, um, then I was in choir, then I was in acting, I did a lot of theater growing up, I did a lot of different things, and throughout high school, I would get into different instruments, I'm like, okay, I want to learn the guitar, sometimes it was piano, um, so it was constantly something different, even now, when I change to something different people will be like oh are you sure you want to do that you're gonna like start you're gonna like give up tomorrow like yesterday i was doing these jars and someone's like oh you're gonna get bored of it by tomorrow <laughs> so everybody knows that i'm somebody who goes through extremes i guess like i go from one thing to the other and then after a while i'm like okay is that bad like like when i would want to try something new i would be like Oh, should I? Like, uh, I don't think I should. Like, I'm gonna, you know, I might, I'm probably gonna give up, like, everything else. Because I did, I would stop. The only, the one thing that I stuck to for years was journaling and crafting. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so lost. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, and after a while, that would, like, bring me down. Because I'm like, why don't, I, why can't I stick to anything? Like, why am I constantly giving up? So that kind of stuck with me. I'm like, so when I would get into something new, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm going to give up on this soon. So that kind of stayed with me. It's not good. I and Only recently, and by recently, I mean yesterday, did I come to a conclusion of, okay, it's it's totally fine. I can do that. I can try out different things. I don't know why that is so bad. So it was only recently, and by that I mean yesterday, um, that it's fine to do that. Okay, that's cute. Oh, actually, I'm gonna get my car sock paper so I can start inking my stuff. Need my little brush if I can find it. Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna ink all of these first, actually. 
um so yeah i'm like why is that such a bad thing it's not it's not bad like i'm just doing different things i don't know why that's so negative somebody that just jumps from i i can see why it looks bad like in somebody's eye it's, it's like oh, okay so if she gets a job she's just gonna leave it like super quick um so i can see why it may look bad but I, i've always been like that i go from one thing to the other i try a lot of things i like to try different things and if i don't like it oh well then i'm gonna drop i'm not gonna continue doing it so that's why i'm like why is it bad i'm just like trying these different things and if i don't like it then i'm i'm not gonna keep doing it so why is that me giving up so but for me doing that so much everybody's like oh you're gonna give up on that every time i want to try something new so after a while just like okay i'm not even gonna mention <laughs> all these things that i'm i'm into or, or trying out um so yeah but i'm like it's not a bad thing yesterday i was like yeah I'm, I'm gonna do that and yes it does reflect on my channel like how i would jump through different things in the beginning i would do like a day in my life i, I wanted to be like one of those influencers where you <laughs> they do like the day in my life what i eat in a day all those things obviously i didn't like that so i stopped then i changed to crafting and you know eventually i figured out what i wanted to do but even now i'm, I'm like should i be a junk journal channel should i be a mini journal channel should i just do short videos like the 60 second videos should i just do do it like that so I don't think so i don't think i should i'm just gonna do whatever i create and the thing with about being a crafter or if you're somebody who likes to be creative it's all about inspiration so like one week i might be into junk journal stuff so that's what i'm gonna do it or maybe the other week i'm into something totally different you know i never know what i'm gonna like the next day so that's just what I wanted to explain. That that's how it's, you know. I I don't care if this is like lopsided. I kind of like. I like the look of it. So there's no problem with being like that. That's what I'm telling myself. It's completely fine. So just do what you want to do. I don't want to think too much of it. If I'm gonna, if I want to do something for my channel, I don't wanna not do it and think oh it's not it, i can't do that because it has nothing to do with my theme i don't want to if i feel inspired and want to do junk journal crafts then i'll do it if i want to do um something else then i'll do that too if i want to do diy mason jar tea light then i'll do that too it's all in the same thing it's in the crafting niche but different i guess but that's just how it's going to be so i hope you guys still like the videos that i make you guys can i mean leave and go check go to another channel but that's just what i wanted to explain and that's what it's going to be like and it'll be more freeing and i don't want to think too much of it because i am somebody that's like that and it reflects on my channel i've noticed so but it's fine that's just how i am okay let me try this green one this is a pretty one i like this Ooh, should I ink these? Yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. Because I know there might be people that are like, oh, she's not doing the video she used to. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ooh, I'm going to Disney, well, Universal next weekend. Going for Halloween Horror Nights. I didn't even know that they were open in september what month is it in august super early but anyways i'm in that spooky season um mood i started my halloween i started my halloween um binge like in the beginning of this month because i love halloween everybody in my family's favorite um holiday is christmas but mine is halloween I love October. I love that fall um, aesthetic. I love, oh, I just love Halloween. I love anything spooky. So I'm getting into that um, mood early so that I have enough time. My favorite thing to do for like Halloween is um, 
to my favorite thing to do on Halloween. Well, this the last year was the first time I do it, but I really enjoyed it. It was to just get a ton of just make a bunch of food and just have it displayed out, get some candy, and then just spend the day watching Halloween movies or horror movies. That was the best time ever. I absolutely loved it. This is cute too. I wanna get a little, I don't wanna cut too much of this edge off. So yeah, this is gonna be a pretty short video. I'm just gonna do a few stamps, not a ton. I just wanted to have a sit down and chat video. I wanna do more of those, just short videos like this. I'll probably end up fast forwarding it, so I don't know. But thank you for those who stuck around still. I know I get I go off and on on YouTube a lot. Sometimes I don't know what to create. And that's fine too. If there's days that or weeks that I don't put out content, I'm sure that's fine. But I know you guys want to see videos. So I'm trying to just stick to a schedule. Also, I'll be working full time by next um, month hopefully because I have my interview they moved up my interview to this Tuesday which I'm excited about because it was supposed to be next month actually my interview but they moved it up so thank goodness I really don't want to keep waiting any longer Ooh, I saw this piece here For those of you who ask what I do, um, I'm just a pharmacy tech at a hospital. I do enjoy it. It's better than retail. Retail is not really my thing. Should I cut this shorter? Let me just cut this a bit shorter. Yeah, I really love those candles. Those are so cute. So if you guys want to see a tutorial on it, then just let me know in the comments down below. Because they're really cute and they're very easy to do. Not hard at all. And you can decorate them however you want. And they make such cute gifts, like the perfect gift. I love DIY gifts for people. I remember when YouTube was all about that, the DIYs. Fun time on YouTube. It's totally different now. What other colors should I do? That's too much. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'll do this. Oh, whatever. But one thing I am sticking to is just doing crafts, journal spreads, using things that you can make at home because that I do enjoy. I... Uh, like when I see comments of like, oh, like I can't make, I can't make the journal spread like you because, you know, I don't have that stuff. You don't need to. So you just have to be creative, use what you have on you, you know, that's pretty much all it is. Did I just make that worse? Oh, whatever. Um, ooh, this one's cute. Yeah, you don't need to buy all this stuff. The only thing I will spend money on are like tools, like my transparent stamps or things like that. A die cut cutter. Because um, th those things, like, you need it. It makes crafting easier and it's not something that you have to constantly repurchase unless you need to re refill something. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Like, just use your journal spreads, and that's it. 
So you need, oh, not your journal spreads, like use magazines to cut out images. Just get creative like that. Get paints, different things that you can use in your journal spreads. And that's pretty much it, you know? You don't have to get all fancy. You don't have to go out and buy all this stuff because it can get pricey. If you go to Michael's, any craft store, crafts can be expensive. Sticker, some stickers can. It can get very pricey. I don't even know how much money I've spent on like um, journaling supplies. And it's not even like I use everything because sometimes I don't even remember what I have. So I have all my stationery there just, just there not being used up really. And now I'm going to just get my stickers here that I've already pre-cut and just start putting these down. I really like these. This is a cute one, this little. Ooh, that's so pretty. I love that. So I'm probably just gonna fast forward the video now. So enjoy you guys.
Okay, you guys, so I'm all done with my stamps and they came out so cute. This is actually a new style. I tried this in my first time like using number stickers, but I'm going to show you the stamps. These are probably my least favorite. Uh, they're just, they're too crowded. Like, I don't like the paper I chose. It's just too busy and you could barely see the sticker in the middle. And I don't know. And that, then the stamp, I had to restamp it so it's like off center. So I don't really like it. And this is too long. I like smaller stamps. So but they're still fine. I'll use them. I'll put them in my junk journal. I don't know what I'll, what I'm going to do with all these stamps though. Um, but I love the rest. These came out so cute and I made like four more at the end, um, as you saw. But look at how cute these came out. I love these. I love the number stickers. I tried to darken up the numbers a bit just because they were too bright. But I still think they look fine. But they came out so cute. I love these. These are perfect for junk journals or I don't know what you guys want to do. Maybe give them to people. Maybe write something in the back. Well, it's a book page so you can't really write in the back. But if you do like cardstock, you can write a cute little note in the back. Give it to somebody. I love this. I These are two separate stickers. So I combine them to make it into one element and I love it. I love the little bow on her. It's so cute. And this is a little girl. This came out so precious. And I love the two stamps that I used. Ooh, this one came out very neat. I really like this one. I love the black and white stickers with the, the colored background. It's very pretty. This is one of the last ones I made. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. So pretty. I love the flowers, the bird. This is a little... Oh, I love the the Juliet name. That's very pretty. I love it. I love doing stamps with book pages. I don't know. I really like the aesthetic of it. Really looks vintagey to me. This is a little duck, and then this is a little what do you call it? Those horsey things that kids usually ride on. So that's really cute. My fingers are so dirty, but yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this very simple craft talking session but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you all in the next one bye